Hi, I'm Jason Liang. And I'm Santiago Gonzalez, and today we're going to be presenting population-based training for loss function optimization. This poster introduces Enhanced Population-Based Training, or EBBT, a novel extension of population-based training for online evolutionary meta-learning. In EPBT, the training and hyperparameter optimization are interleaved. EBT is applied to evolved loss functions, which are prioritized as tailored expansions. Analysis shows that EPT is able to evolve loss functions that achieve higher accuracy in the Cypher 10 domain, and that the loss functions are different during different parts of training. Traditionally, researchers have been constrained to a narrow set of loss functions, such as the ubiquitous cross-entropy loss function. However, prior research introduced genetic loss optimization, also known as GLOW, and showed that there is in fact promise in evolving novel loss functions. One loss function in particular, named the Baikal loss, was able to outperform the cross-entropy loss on different data sets. This past work accomplished this by representing loss functions as trees, inspired by genetic programming. And while trees can represent any function, most functions are not actually usable loss functions. This led to the development of Taylor Glow, a novel evolvable parameterization for loss functions that's based on multivariate Taylor expansions. EPBT runs in a three-stage loop. In stage one, promising individuals are selected using a heuristic. In stage two, new individuals with updated hyperparameters are created, but the weights and fitness are inherited. In stage three, these individuals are evaluated on a task and have their model, fitness, and weights updated. There are two EPBT variants, one called EPBT-GA, which utilizes classic genetic algorithm operators, such as a mutation crossover, and EPBT-CMA, which is based on covariance matrix adaptation evolutionary strategy. On the CIFAR-10 image classification benchmark, both GA and CMAES variants of EPBT outperformed the PBT baseline when evolving only Taylor GLOW parameters. That is, the blue and red training curves converge to a higher accuracy than the magenta training curve. The evolved Taylor GLOW loss function parameters can be plotted in a TSNE scatter plot. A temporal structure can be seen where early loss functions are blue and adapt over time. If we take a look at every loss function from the first, mid, and last generations, we can observe qualitative differences in the best performing loss functions over time. Namely, loss function slopes have a tendency to become more negative over time. EPBT discovers concave loss functions which prevent the network from overfitting. Like the Baikal loss function, the loss functions discovered by EBT penalizes low entropy prediction distribution centered around one. Results on a widely used image classification benchmark, Cypher 10, shows that EBT is effective in discovering loss functions for better and faster learning. An analysis of the optimized loss functions suggests that an adaptive loss function schedule naturally arises and is likely to be the key to achieving good performance. If you want to learn more, you can find us at the New and ML workshop at NeurIPS 2019.